Capricorners, this is Bella Dutch from All Sing I Tarot, here with the bi-weekly love scope for the zodiac sign of Leo, sun, moon, and rising, April 15th through the 30th. Hello, my Libra, Leo babies. Let's get to it. Spirit and universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, April 15th through the 30th? Talk to me. What's going on with Leo? Okay. I'm going to say something to you. I want you to hear me very closely. Let me make sure these earphones are in so you can listen. Leo, it is not the time to be lazy. Listen to me. This is Jules. Mama Bear's dropping on you, okay? There are so many of you Leos that are business owners, sole proprietors of business, but you're lazy. You're going through a crisis right now and you're panicking. You're giving up on what you do. You work very hard to get here. There's benefits available to you. Leo, I want you to look into, if you are a sole proprietor, you have your own business, you work really hard to get to where you are, look into governmental loans. That's the economic disaster loan, the paycheck protection plan and I want you to get your ass off that fucking bed okay out of that depression and I want you to fucking apply that's a message from mama bear get your ass up okay get up it's not over we still got work to do let's go Spirit of the universe what's the message you got for Leo sun moon rising April 15th through the 30th let's see what's going on with my Leos understand why I feel I, I'm done. It's over. I'm done. I can't do no more. There's there's a there's a feeling of depression that has fell on my Leos. And I don't like that. And I'm probably going to do an extra reading for you, Leo, because I can feel you being defeated by your own thoughts because you don't know which way to go. You don't know what to do. And a lot of you are saying, Bella, I don't have no one. I try not to cry. I don't have no one. I've been by myself for a long time. I don't have a husband. I don't have a wife. I'm tired of fighting, Bella. This disaster has put me out of business. I'm not making the money that I'm supposed to make. Shut up, bitch. Okay? Shut up. Don't say that shit out your mouth. You're privileged. You might not have a husband. You might not have a wife. But you got an incredible mind that cannot be duplicated. There is a fight inside of you that prepared you for today. So many of you Leos are ready for this disaster. You don't even know it. You know how to do shit that other people don't know how to do. You know how to create masks. How to make sure that you know how to eat from the plants outside. You can create recipes. You can take crystals and put them on places of your body and create healing. Don't fuck with me. If you are down on your luck and you're feeling very depressed... Take advantage. Hit me up. I'm running up to the minute for you guys. For those of you that feel you're too broke and you can't afford a reading. Take advantage of up to a minute. A dollar a minute. Don't give up here. You hear me? Don't you do it. Okay? Here we go. Eight of Swords. That's your feeling. This is what I'm feeling. I'm stuck. I don't know which way to go the world. I feel like it's over for me. I don't know which way to go. I never had anybody. I'm by myself. The Five of Swords. The universe has fucked me. I thought I would be okay. I thought my business would prosper and now I'm looking at it's a no-win situation. It's over. This is how you feel, Leo. Ace of Pentacles. You still got one seat left. The King of Wands. I'm talking directly to you, Leo. You ready for me? Let's go. Under the Eight of Swords, we got the Hermit card. Under the World card, we have the Four of Pentacles. Under the Five of Swords is the Five of Cups. Under the Ace of Pentacles, we have Strength. Under the King of Wands is the Knight of Cups. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. Listen to me, Leah, and listen very closely. Use your resources. Okay? It's there. It's available. Do not give up. 
it does look like we're fucked. It does. It does look like that for Leo, okay? Because Leo has a very hard, I know. People hate me because I look out for you, Leos. They hate me. I'm serious. I, I get so much abuse in my comment board. You look out for Leo. You take care of Leo. Well, because Leo has an order. Whether I was a Leo or not, okay? Whether I, Listen, I resonate more in, a, in an energy of Virgo than I do Leo. But I still come back and help my Leos. Why? Because Leo has it very difficult. The most of them are alone. They don't have anyone. Their kids are grown, okay? Or they've been left by their baby's fathers, baby's mothers, to do everything by themselves. And Leo always has to talk itself into strength. Always. You always got to talk yourself into strength. Ace of Pentacles, strength card, okay? So that's saying, I always got to look and say, I'm going to take this little seat and I'm going to make something prosperous out of this little tiny seed always that's the way that you were born that's the way that you're bred your winners inside okay so what i'm saying to you as long as you look around and you got a seed left and guess what there's prosperity in that so what do you mean bella okay you have a business you've been running a business for a while your business has moved down to shit you don't even know it exists anymore you're trying to figure out which way to go you still got a mouthpiece, a prophetic mouthpiece at that. You have a mouthpiece that influence people. The power of influence. Listen, Linda. Okay, because I don't say this to everybody, so you better listen to me. The power of influence is in your tongue. So, they may not have given you a husband since childhood, a wife since childhood, but they gave you the power of influence. Leos are born stars. The majority of... Uh, people that are singers or anybody that has went great. I'm not talking about just an artist. I'm talking about greatness. People that are great, great actors, great singers, great activists, great governmental officials are Leo. Okay, so that's a weapon that you have in your arson that you have to identify. But it requires you to be able to move and navigate through the dark. Five of swords, five of cups. So every day, every moment, every second feels like a loss. But let me tell you something. If I put you in a, if I put you in the waters of milk and honey, you would never know how to fight like this. You're not king of the jungle for a reason, for no reason at all. You're king of the jungle because you've been through enough strife, enough devastation, enough pain to be able to dig your way out, claw your fucking way out of any type of disaster. You know how to survive with your family. If spirit dropped you in a foreign land, in a foreign town, in a foreign country, you'd make it. Why? Because you've been through your struggles, your experience. Do not discard them. You need those experience because that's what makes you great, Leo. Okay, so stop being apologetic or angry about the life that you were given the cards that you were dealt. You're meant to be dealt these cards so that you're able to fight. Let me tell you something. I'm probably one of the most depressed people you'll ever meet in life. But I'm the, one of the most powerful bitches you'll ever meet or ever come across. I create change just off of utterance. Do you understand that? But my life is very difficult, very lonely, hardship after. Every corner I turn, I swear to God, Leo, listen to me. I swear to God, every which way I turn, there's hardship. Every which way. It's always a difficult situation. Friends that betray me. People that I thought was by my side never had me. But I am a motherfucking fighter out of this world. You would be surprised. You drop me in the middle of Iraq, bitch, I'm going to make a fucking tent. Okay, and not just a tent. I'm going to make the best motherfucking tent. You understand me? You're always relevant. What you do can't be duplicated. What you do is necessary and what you do is what's needed. Let me tell you something. I got a lot of controversy this, this month. Just this month alone. People I fell out with that I thought I had. Because I had to tell them the truth. I had to tell them their businesses was failing. Why? Because it was built off of money. What they make from it. Selfishness. People that went through storms like us, especially our fellow Aquarius, went through storms just like us. 
However, they built it based off of what they can make from it. See, there's two different kind of people. There's people that process pain and become bitter over it. And there's people that process pain and become fighters. And that's what Leo has that Aquarius doesn't have. So pay attention if you happen to be an Aquarius and you're cross watching because you thought that she was going to get a message about dating a Leo. Then this message is for you. Whatever you've been through. It was purpose to make you strong, to make you individuals, to make you humble and full of humility. Don't ever forget where you come from. Let me tell you something. And this is from our first deacon Leos. First deacon, the end of July, all the way up until about the 5th, 6th of August. You bitches have problems, okay? What I mean by problems is you have the Oedipus complex or a, a, a sense of superiority complex it's going to make you fail in life why is it going to make me fail in life bella because your ego is your worst enemy july 23rd up until august 5th 6th your first deacons of leo you got to learn how to humble yourself appreciate every moment every person has sent in your life to help you you remember that shit if you forget it the day that you forgive it strip yourself clean and be humble because that is your worst enemy is yourself, your ego. Okay, so this is going to stand for those of you that are born at the end of July going into the beginning of August. And there's a lot of you that are triple Leo. You got an ego problem. You think you're superior. You think you've been privileged. Some of you got high school educations along with college educations. And you think everybody is under you. Drop that fucking pride and strip yourself. Okay, because you will not be the one to make it through crisis like this. If the world end today, you have to have humbleness and humility. You got to give a fuck about something other than you. Listen to me, what I'm saying to you. The people that make it is the people that don't just sit back and say, well, my family, fuck that. My kids got to eat me. I got to do. No, the people that make it is the ones that say, what about the world? Everybody's family got to make it. Not just my family. Everybody's family got to make it. When you talk like that, you have purpose. God can use you. Spirit can use you. As long as they can use you, they'll never kill you. You better listen to what the fuck I'm saying to you. And hear me. As long as you can be used for something other than self, other than your family, you will always be a high commodity for the universe. The reason why spirit used me and the reason why they come immediately. When I say immediately, I don't give a fuck what I ask for in this world. I can create whatever just off of a thought. Why did it get like that? Because I cherish everyone over above myself. I worry about everyone, not just me, not just my daughter. So much so that my daughter in 2017 when I started this business was in there trying to kill herself on Facebook and I never knew it. You know where I was? Online recording videos. So don't talk to me about loving the world. I do. Why do I do it like that? Because I have to. Because that's all I have to live for. I have no other purpose other than to help you. When you get that way in your life, in your spirit, in your humility, spirit needs you. You're what I like to call the frontline warriors. And you will be okay. So don't let this little shake that's going on with the universe discourage you because you'll make it. I promise. If you have that ugly demon inside of you that says self, 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 me, me, me. It's probably going to be those of you that are triple Leo. Those of you that have Capricorn in your rising. Taurus in your rising. Come talk to me. I'm going to fix it and I'm going to get that evil demon out of you. Because you need it gone. Because you can't make it through the end times. I like to call it the end times. There's never an end. Don't be discouraged. This fucking coronavirus is not going to wipe the world out. No. Absolutely not. Okay? But I'm telling you, when there's times of defeat, tragedy, scarce, hardship, starvation. If you want to be able to make it through that, you got to love something other than you and your family. You got to be of use to the universe. Stop thinking about men and girlfriends. I'm lonely. I want somebody. Shut the fuck up. Most of you don't even want somebody. Okay? 
You've been alone so fucking long, you're used to being alone. Okay? How do I know? How do you know, Bella? Because you'll sit back and you'll pray for a man or a woman. They'll bring the man or the woman, but then you want the spirits to change them. All right, we'll fix him because I don't like the fact that he got a baby mama and this, that. Shut up. You don't want a man. You don't want a woman. You want prestige. You want leadership. That's something a man or a woman could never give you. That comes from God and the universe. That's what you want, Leo. Okay? I want you to think back on how much you asked for. I need a man. I need a woman. They sent it to you. It just wasn't in a package that you were ready to deal with. So why is it not in a package that I'm ready to deal with? Because it's not in a package that no one is ready to deal with. The problem is, Leo, you're not humble enough to deal with what that person excuse me, brings to you. Where most people are. Most people are compromisable. Most people are full of humility. Most people appreciate. You don't, Leo. You don't. You don't ever appreciate. Doesn't matter what kind of man or woman they send you. Okay? You fuck it up. You blame everything on them. You don't even realize. Bitch, you didn't check out of the relationship a long time ago. I don't blame King for the things that go wrong with us. Oh, I'm a bitch that a check out any moment. Okay? I do. I, I told you guys that. I tell you everything about me. I will check out. I'm not a bitch that's going to fight or, or, you know, get my hands too dirty. Especially when I don't have purpose with you. Especially when I know that you're not going with me to the end. I knew King wasn't going with me to the end. I'm not fighting for that shit. I mean, I'll fight for as, enough as, I, as much as I need to have as far as the lessons. But I'm not going to go crazy over that motherfucker being gone. You got me fucked up. No, he's not my purpose. Now, my twin, on the other hand, I've known him since I was 13. I've been being bred, born, and created for that part of my higher self. I don't see that as a relationship. I see that as me accomplishing my goals and my purpose down here on the planet. So when you get to that level, then you're ready. But if you still beg in the universe to send you some sort of man or woman, and they just send you about 200000 how much has your pussy been around? Where's your pussy? All over the neighborhoods? Where's your dangling? All over the neighborhood? You've been fucking everybody? They've already sent you people. You just didn't pass with those people because they wasn't enough for you. Listen to me, and I want you to hear me, Leo. The universe do not create men, women specifically for you. The universe creates men, women that goes against everything that you believe in. They are actors in your movie. They are meant to be a resistance to you so that you can grow into your higher self. They are not meant to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. And if you're listening to that bullshit, cut them bitches off that you're listening to. It's the wrong information. Your partner, the one for you, the karmic soulmates, the lessons you have to complete is going to be so much fucking resistance, it's going to feel like you're going crazy. Oh, hell no, this ain't for me. What the fuck is wrong with this person? It's going to feel like that. Why? Because the purpose of relationships is the betterment of you. The reason why that actor came around is because they were supposed to play a part in your movie at that time to get you to where you needed to be so that you can defeat and be able to continue to stay a frontline warrior. That picket fence, that perfection, that sense of happiness doesn't exist, bitch. Grow up, okay? It doesn't exist. Happiness is a moment. It's not forever. It's a moment. It's what someone does in that moment or what you experience in that moment that makes you happy for that moment. But you can't live in that. You're a warrior. You're a fighter. You're a lion. Start acting like it, goddammit. Like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. Come fuck with me, okay? All my angry bees, people that belong to me, children that listen to me, no matter how old you are, you know that. You're no fool. You need a personal reading. You need encouragement. Where am I going through here, Bella? I'm not saying you cannot live in a romantic love. Absolutely. But you got to know your fucking place. Okay? You can have romantic love. I had a lot of romantic love. I can create romantic love at any moment of any second. I can talk to the universe right now and get me a, a ding a son here. In less than 24 hours. Because I understand that it's a moment. It's not a lifetime. It's a moment. It's what I want to feel in that moment. And I'm trying to get you to understand the same thing. And once you understand the same thing, you can create it for yourself. Allseeingitarot at gmail.com. Take advantage of spiritual analysis. 
up to the minute. I'm here for you. I love you, Leo. I swear I love you. Until next time, thank you guys.